Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to go through and answer a few uh, really good questions that came in on a video that I did on how to clean your rod and reel after fishing trips. Now, I'll be going through and answering some questions that came in uh, on our YouTube channel, and also some questions that came in on the same video, but on our main website at saltstrong.com. So if you are watching this on YouTube, I highly recommend going to our actual main website at saltstrong.com and viewing our articles there on these videos because not only do you see the video you also get to uh, see a little bit of a write-up about the video so if you prefer to read rather than watch you have that option and then we also have our comment section down below and I actually get a direct notification if somebody comments on the videos that I make on our main site as opposed to YouTube where it's just a general email that goes to us and it's not really filtered out so if you want some direct interaction definitely be sure to check out these articles on our main website so first let's go ahead and take a look at some questions that came up on the YouTube channel and if you haven't done so already definitely be sure to subscribe as we put out new videos pretty much every day and multiple videos a day so plenty to watch on there so the first comment I see was, I like to use a pressure washer on my rod and reel. Definitely don't recommend doing that. On the rod itself, that's fine. Uh, but the reel, you really don't want to use high pressure because it's going to force a lot of the salt and whatever sand or debris that might be on the reel. It can actually force it further into the reel and just do more harm than good. So really don't recommend using a pressure washer on the reel itself. And the next comment I see here uh, was talking about tightening the drag before uh, wetting down the reel and then loosening it once the reel is dry. Definitely some good advice there. Uh, you know, when you go to rinse off your reel, I highly suggest tightening down the drag. That will keep water from getting into uh, the drag system. Also, it will help keep water uh, from getting pushed into the drag system and pushing salt and all kinds of sand and stuff you don't want in there uh, into that drag system. So tighten it down before you rinse them off. And then once the reels wipe down and dry, then loosen it up. You want to keep your drag loose when you go to store it. Now the next question I see was asking about what rod was that in the video uh, that I was using. The rod that was in that video is a St. Croix Avid Inshore. It's an 8 foot medium heavy uh, fast action rod. Now I see a lot of people saying that they like to use uh, Pledge which is a furniture polish on their reels. Uh, it can be good to use on your reels. I know a lot of guys that uh, service fishing reels they usually wipe them down with pledge when they're done and it it's good because it repels water but the only thing I don't like about putting any chemicals on my reel uh, especially after every single trip you really don't have to do that maybe every once in a while but uh, you know when you put chemicals on your reel those chemicals then get transferred onto your hand and then it gets transferred onto the bait that you're using or the lure that you're using and it can be a deterrent to fish if they smell that weird chemical in the water so just be mindful of that uh, that's why I really don't like putting any types of chemicals on my reels after I'm done for the day you know just use what's available what's free because it works you know I fish from a kayak my rods and reels are constantly getting soaked with salt water uh, throughout the day so I just rinse them off with fresh water wipe them down let them dry and they've lasted for a really long time just doing that then another good tip here that I see is using warm water uh, because it will actually help dissolve any salt deposits that may be on your rod and reel. Uh, it will dissolve it much uh, better, more effectively. And what you can do is just leave a water bottle in your car. At the end of the day, when you get back, it's going to be nice and warm because it's been sitting in your truck or your car. So you can use that warm water to rinse down your rod and reel. So next question I see here is from Jimmy Orchid on YouTube asking what oil and grease would I recommend for reel maintenance. Uh, what I've been using is cleanse oil. They sell an oil and they do sell a grease, a real grease. So uh, those would be the two that I would recommend. And the oil itself I use on the outside of the reel and then the grease, that's what you would use internally on the gears. Then we'll see what the next question is here from Thomas Hughes on YouTube. Could you put your rod and reel in the sun to let it dry or should you still wipe it down? I would highly avoid putting it in the sun because the sun will actually speed up the process. Uh, if there is any salt on your reel, it will 
speed up that proce uh, process of corrosion. So if anything, shake the reel off, shake the rod off, wipe it down dry, and then put it in a shady place and let it air dry. You don't want to put it in direct sunlight because again, that, ju that will just make things worse. So now going over to the actual article on our page, uh, some questions we had here and some uh, additional tips. You know, a lot of people, again, talking about products, using products to clean the reels and rods off. Um, you know, I just avoid the products, just use fresh water and a rag, especially after every trip. You know, uh, maybe once a month or every other month, I'll do a full cleaning, you know, oil, different parts of the reel. Uh, if you know, I have to take the reel apart and grease the inside, I'll do that. I uh, usually don't have to, especially if you do routine maintenance, uh, you know, pretty much after every trip. And I see a lot of questions about, you know, salt off and salt away. Uh, very good products to use. They will basically dissolve any salt that's on the reel. Uh, but again, that's just more money you have to spend and I don't really feel you need to use uh, salt off and salt away. Unless perhaps you're using, you know, reels that are meant for fresh water where they're not as corrosion resistant as some of these salt water products or inshore products that are made with different materials that help prevent corrosion. So if you're using some, you know, lower end reels, uh, fresh water reels that are more susceptible to corrosion, then yes, salt off and salt away will definitely be a good option just to help them last much longer. Now another uh, comment I see here is about you know dipping the bottom of the rods including the reel into a bucket and sort of just agitating them to help get salt off. One thing you definitely don't want to do is completely submerge your reel even if it is fresh water because you really don't want any water getting inside that reel itself. That's why you don't want to use high pressure and you don't want to dunk your reels uh, in fresh water. So again, just a light mist of fresh water, shake them off, wipe them down dry, and then let them sort of air dry for the re remainder of the time. Now, one thing I do highly suggest is actually laying your rods horizontal after you do clean them off instead of standing them straight up because what can happen is any water that may be on the shaft of the spool will start to seep down into the body of the reel when you have it sitting straight up or vertical. So while you're letting that re uh, rod and reel dry, I highly recommend just laying them flat. Or if you have a rod rack that is horizontal, definitely recommend that. And then lastly, I saw a comment about if you're using any type of chemicals or you know the pledge furniture polish, you definitely want to avoid getting any of that of, on your line because you don't know what chemicals will react with your line. It might weaken it. Uh, the scent might get absorbed into your line, and that can affect you know getting a getting a bite from a fish if the fish are very finicky. So just be careful if you do use any of those products to not get anything on your line itself. So that will wrap up this video. If you have any additional questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them down below. Also, I'd like to know your feedback on cleaning your rods and reels. If there's anything specific that you like to do afterwards, definitely let me know down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. If you are new to Salt Strong, we are the largest online fishing club for saltwater anglers and we guarantee you two things. Number one, you'll start catching more fish in less time. And number two, you will save a ton of money on your favorite tackle and gear with discounts available exclusively for our members. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com and we'll see you there. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live Salt Strong in where the lines are dead.